It coughed. Okay, let's go get gas. Yo, it is gonna be a packed episode today. We have so much driving around to do. So first thing, I'm in the Suburban, as you can probably tell, because we need a tow vehicle, because we need to go pick up a trailer that Leon has, so we can go get a surprise car. Leon and I got this phone call yesterday about someone I had reached out to asking if they wanted to sell the car. I don't know, a week goes by and I get this random phone call and they're like, yeah, so we'll take this for it. Okay, I'll be there tomorrow. So we're going to get that. The whole plan was today to go down to West Palm Beach and pick up a duplicate clone car of my Passat wagon. So this extra car is total surprise. It's great though. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is go down to Leon's shop and get his trailer. There's gonna be no tripod, no stabilization stuff today because honestly, I can't deal with setting up these beautiful shots. We're just going to, we'll do it live. All right, so we made it to Leon's. We're just doing a bunch of trailer nonsense right now. Alrighty guys, we just picked up the next vehicle, sort of. We have some work to do to go get it, but we will show it off once we get it back to Leon's shop. A few moments later. So we're back at Leon's shop because we need to grab the jump pack and a possible battery and maybe some cables because the vehicle that we're trying to buy is completely flat out of electricity. So once we get some electricity in it, it should be good to go. Battery, jump pack, jumper cables. A few moments later. You know what it is yet? Alrighty, so we just got the 240 back in Leon's shop. Man, it's dark in here. He's trying to find a battery charger so that we can try and save the battery that's in this thing. Who is knows? That, is that key on? Oh. Nice. I hear it. Make it noise. Alrighty, nice. So we can't go over everything for this car right now. We just honestly don't have the time, but we will definitely be back to look it over and kind of go through all the little crap here and there. And who knows what else is inside this car? Who knows what evil lurks? But we already have to get ready to go pick up the next car. So we will catch up back with you then. I did want to point out one thing before we go. That we did get some goodies with this thing when we bought it. Which is some new Nismo floor mats. Which, who doesn't love Nismo? Bunch of tail lights, headlights, and a new bumper. So how cool is that? How neat is that? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Two hours later. We're not making a demolition car out of it. I don't know why not. All right, so it was quite the struggle, and we're at the uh, local Harbor Freight, sort of. We're kind of quintuple parked right now, but we don't really care because they didn't have pull-throughs, <laughs> as you can see, so it's not our fault. Anyway, so here it is. Here's my other new Volkswagen. So Leon's gonna go in with me on this purchase of the Passat because it has none of the parts that I actually needed. I needed two good tail lights, and guess what I got? Half of one. Some of another. This one might be savable, but that plastic is all sun faded, so I don't know. Otherwise, the car is really... No, I didn't notice that before because it was up against the fence. So other than that, <laughs> it's pretty nice. Um, the woman said that it had a blown head gasket. We, we don't think so. No, I don't think so. So we're at the Harbor Freight. We got to get some straps to tie this thing down. And then, well, the next time we check in, we will probably see you back in my house. Two hours later. All right, so we finally made it back. It took a long time. Here it is. Looks great, right? But I have to bring Leon back. And then once we are at his shop, we are going to try and start up the 240. So that'd be really cool to see it run tonight. This thing we did have running, which is pretty cool. We, we don't think that it's a blown head gasket. I don't know what's up with that colored rim though, but anywho, that's what it looks like. And then we got the Suburban in the background. So it's a, it's a great day so far. It's definitely busy. So, all right, we'll check in in a little bit. So we just got back here, a few more things to load and unload and whatnot. And uh, Leon's gonna try and start the 240 for the first time. Nice. That went better than expected. All right, so do you think in the time that we load up your truck on the trailer, it might have enough juice again? Yeah. All right, we should do that then. Cool. Boy. <laughs> yeah, it was better. 
It's the best chance it's had so far. <laughs> it almost sounded like it might do something. Where is it? Purple. purple. Light, light purple. I've always, I've always seen this corn. That is pretty neat. How neat is this? There's no fuel. I think it's Start! Out of gas. It's completely out of gas. Yeah. Do you still have some? Not uh, enough to probably make it in the lines. Does. We got a gas can. You trying to do hood rat shit, my friend? Well, I'd like to hear it, I guess. I would like to hear it. Anytime. All right, go! Eh. <laughs> it coughed. Okay, let's go get gas. This gas station or you want to finish? No, we'll go here because I left the roll door down. Here we have a wild Leon pouring gasoline into his native Japanese natural vehicle. natural habitat. Yeah, natural habitat. Working on a piece of crap S chassis. JK, it's not a piece Dude, of crap. I opened that gas cap and it was so nasty. Oh man. Like 10 year old gas. Boy. Boy. Oh, don't break it. We don't have any more of it. Here, I'll take one. Okay. Alright, ready to start? Guys. Nope, shut up! Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, okay. Holy crap. <laughs> Go for it! Oh. Lights work. Hey, this thing only has 150,000 miles on it. Boy. That's pretty low for this. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Take off the fuel line? Yeah, we should pop off the fuel line. I really want to stay and enjoy this, but I should really go. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Two hours later. Alrighty, guys. It has been quite an adventure. Leon's still working on the 240 down at his shop. And I've got his truck here. He needs a place to park it for a little while. And then the new Passat and then the Suburban is way in the back. Now I gotta go drop off my dad's Suburban. I am so tired. It has been like 13 hours at this point since we've been moving and on the road and doing everything. So I welcome sleep. I still gotta go pick up my Passat, bring that back, get the wife's car back home. Man, busy day. Thanks for watching. We will show you more in depth on both the cars in the next episode. I'll see you there.